Well, everybody, this used to be the fish farm here. Yeah. You want me to show your face? The owner of the place? Easy yeah. if you want. All right. <laughs> the, this is the owner of the place. Now, his father-in-law used to run this. His father-in-law was from Switzerland. And what's your name? Jimmy. Jimmy? Yeah. Your last name? Fiegan. Fiegan? Yeah. And so he owns this. His step or his father-in-law moved back to Switzerland and retired and just walked away from this business. And you was at Haiti when you came back and everything was vandalized, right? Yes. That's um, what happened, right? Everything comes from me you know. Yeah. So that's what happened. He come back from vacation and his father-in-law was gone and people just ransacked everything and stripped everything out and yeah. this is what's left of it. But he wants to invest it. He wants to turn it into a hostel, uh, a hotel. I could see that happening. Yes, so the guest house, yeah. But he's needing money. So we'll walk you guys through and show you what it looks like. You know, there's a shower and it could be a toilet right here and, you know, change room or something like that. But I can imagine this place, when it was run and operating, I bet you it was a beautiful place. Yeah, nice. I bet you it was gorgeous. Yeah, nice place. Running full speed, everybody working, happy, yes, smoking running. ganja. Put a roof on and clean everything up. And this is, I like this place right here. So this was, uh, this is where they did all the cutting, right? Yes, this is where I come from for the fillet. Oh, this is what. Oh, this is where they put the fillet at. Yes, I want to lay the rope right here. All right. If you take the fish by the dozen. Right. And go fillet. Oh, oh, okay. The fish was here, and then they just they they cut it. And two long tables. And they cut it. Okay, two long tables are here, and they start filleting it. Yeah. And a dryer and a pour. Everything be nice, man. I'm morning out there. No, I, I would like to open up another. I would like to see this open up as another fish farm because of Fukushima, Japan. You know, having fresh fish coming from the Caribbean Sea. I think there's a big business for somebody. And he's laying pipe already, going down here, redoing all the plumbing and stuff. You know, clean up this tile. I think, you know, the tile looks so unique, you know. It still has the original look. It has showers here. Toilet, another toilet. Yeah. Room, room, all balls, kitchen. Big old huge room right here. Come around here. There's some money, but the foundation's still good. Cement still good. Yeah, this is pretty neat place. And you said you want to turn this into a kitchen, huh? It's a kitchen. Oh, it was once a kitchen. Oh, once was a kitchen. Once a two room. Oh, two room right here? And this was the little baby fish thing, The baby fish were here yeah, first. Yeah, we sex reverse them in these. Sex After reverse them? Yeah, and put them in a raceway. And, and transfer them to salt water, sea water. Oh, okay. And grow them in a big tank over there. Right. 25 of them over there for grow them. Now, how do you sex change? Oh, oh we sex reverse them? Yeah. Yeah, it's all more nothing by. It's all more like a feed. Oh, uh, a feed? Yeah, it's a special. Oh, a special feed? Yes. Oh, okay. You know, this tanks, these tanks are still usable, you know that? Yeah. There are no cracks in it or nothing. They, whoever built this, built it really good. 
You know, these tanks are still in excellent condition. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Still good. Yeah, man. Everything good. Them that garage. Oh, that was the garage back there. All right. Now we're gonna take you to the the so where they uh. No ice no there. No sir. Look on this and see why. He's wanting to put a, a bar and restaurant down here. There's a big old huge building. There was once the water pump and uh where he stored the tractor at and everything too because they needed a back go out here. Yeah, I if I had money I would seriously think about buying buying a water pump, getting electricity hooked up to it. Even run electricity off of methane gas off of all this shit that you can cut down, clean up. You know, that's what you can do is uh, run a water pump with a motor. Yes. And uh, it almost looks like marijuana. No, not <laughs> I marijuana. know. So weird it's looking. A, yeah, weird looking, but it's a... I've never seen a plant. Yeah, I've never seen a plant that looks like bird that. Bird feed. Bird feed? Yeah. But you can cut all this grass down here yeah. and make a methane tank and create methane gas and just put a motor with a water pump over here yeah. and that's all you do you don't have to run electricity and you just change the oil every uh, so many hours like 350 hours I think it is and uh, change the oil change the filter every uh, probably every thousand hours but if you use synthetic oil you can even run it longer than that yeah. and just replace the oil and the filter at the same time and uh, just run a water pump going out to the seawater tank and that's all you have to do that'd be the cheapest way to get that going you know and Honda sells some really nice ones that last for years you can get the parts be able to replace the parts anytime you want to yes yeah. so, some China crap that you can buy and then turn around and throw it away in about a year. It is. Wow, that's something. Pineapple. Yeah. That's a baby one. I do enjoy pineapple. Yeah, very good. I eat quite a bit of it in New Mexico. They have lots of mangoes, lots of uh, pineapple. They have cantaloupe and Mountain Dew. You guys don't have no cantaloupe here. I, I haven't seen no watermelon either. Yes. Oh, I have seen watermelon. Yes. But I haven't seen cantaloupe yet. And yes, cantaloupe here. Is there cantaloupe? Yeah, I don't plant it, but uh, my friend plant it. You need a lot of water. That's, yes. Yes, that's the only thing about that. Yeah, up that we're going now we are. Uh, you want to go see that see what that tank, that saltwater tank by the beach? Over there. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're just walking around in no man's land. Yeah, let's go down there by the beach and show the beach and see what everybody what it looks like so people probably want to put a hotel there <laughs> yeah I guess so me understand you, you never know where you're going yeah that's why I come this way now what, Michelle, say, I yeah, I, I wanted to show that that's uh, saltwater tank where you guys put the the fish at and before you harvested them. Let's go to the pump house too, where you want to put that bar at. Yeah. I'll show them the view, the, the area. 
Now everybody, he says that you guys can come out here and set up a tent if you guys want to crash out out here yeah. on the beach. So uh, if you guys get stuck with nowhere to go, this is the man to come to and say, Hey, I seen the video, it says we can sleep on the beach. Pretty nice beach you have out there too. I could see throwing a big old huge band out there. Have a have about a thousand, two thousand people set up their tents. Be a nice place. Had some rain this morning. Did it rain around here pretty good? Yes. Which says helps out your bananas. Yes. Food for the bananas. Make the bananas pretty mm -hmm. fresh. Make them grow bigger. Yeah. You know, in the United States, they're modifying the weather. So, uh, they're controlling the weather. We're, we're places where it rains at, we're places they don't want it to rain at. Yeah. And right now, they're drying up California. And California's burning down. Uh, yeah, it's pretty sad, it's sick. A lot of people are complaining about it. But I did see one chemtrail coming down here. So we go here, right? Yeah. So I, uh, I seen one chemtrail here one day that a jet laid, and the other jets didn't do that, didn't leave a chemtrail like this one did. And so there's a 12 inch pipeline inside the pump house, right? Yes, lead up to the tank, to the harvest tank. What I was telling him, lay a PVC pipe out in the ocean with the 90. Yeah. Come up where you don't have to dig that trench every week and yeah. just pump sea, sea water all the way to the tanks and save you all that hassle. Expensive equipment. So really, run fresh water in there where you can clean everything up. Put a freezer inside there and a, put a freezer room in there uh, where you can freeze the fish, where you can be able to ship the fish out anywhere around the world frozen. Yeah. No, we're not frozen them. Yeah, you don't freeze them? No, we are chill them. You just chill them and send them? Yeah. Oh, because you're sending by air flight and they just go direct to the place around the world. Yeah, I'm fucked with that. Well, they actually, the fish went back to Switzerland where the guy, the owner was at. Yeah, Switzerland, we export and go to Switzerland from plane. Yeah, by plane, flying to Switzerland. Yeah, your father-in-law made a lot of money. Yeah, in the heaven, yeah, brother. Yeah, video is tanking, but come on, push. You can't see them still. 25 of them there, so. There's 25 tanks there, all together. And they're they're scattered all over the... all over this place, this valley. Okay. He turned one into a pig farm, okay? So, but he has 24 more left. No problem to close him and yeah. ready tank up. We know everything and we know how we fix everything. We just want money. And with money, we spend money to do everything. Right. And we used to run it to my father and line. I run the business to my father and line. For 18 years. 18 years. Six years for my father and law. Six years for my mother and law. Six years for my woman. My baby mother. I'm just left here and go away. And left a white man to run here. The man gone back to front. Well, you had no place to sell it once he left. Oh, he moved. So, no. so your father-in-law moved to France. He didn't go to Switzerland. He went to France. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the most expensive place in the world. 
Well, Switzerland's probably the most expensive, but he went to Switzerland so he could live like a king off the money he made in, Switz in Switzerland. That's what your father-in-law did. Smart man. And he's still alive. How old is he? How old he is now? Yeah. Like... 80. 80 years old? 85 years old. 85 years old. That just blow me away. It would probably blow him away. He'd sit there and see his fish farm on, on YouTube one day. <laughs> People wanting to open up this business back up again. Well, you know, there's a big business in the United States because of Fukushima and Japan. Yeah. You could sell that fish all over, all over the coast of the United States and advertise that the Pacific Ocean seafood's no good. Do not eat it. Eat Jamaican Caribbean seafood. <laughs> Yeah. Really? It's a good scam. I know I don't dare to eat anything in Mexico or the United States, any type of seafood. And since I've been here, this is what I've been eating every day. Some type of seafood every day. Yeah, well, welcome to the beach now. It's an ocean pretty. As far as you can see, all flat land. Yeah, Robin's Bay over there. Yeah, and Robin. That find Robin's Bay. And that's Strawberry Field right yeah. there. Robin's Bay right there. This is a nice place right here, all flat land. Set out nice tent. Enjoy the view. Nice breeze, everything. Yeah, if I wouldn't have known about this place, I would have said I came out here and set up my tent. Be enjoying life. Even right here is a nice place to set up your tent. So this is all gravel, really, real fine gravel, huh? Sun. Yeah. There's a pump house. That ditch used to be dug all the way out to the beach. They had a backhoe and they had to dig it out every day. Well, you got some nice waves out here. Nice place. And he wants to open up a bar right there. On top of my building. Or on top of the building. He's wanting I'm to build. No flicking villa or just or no. It's most definitely a beautiful view here. Yeah. Look, look by the water. Yeah. And the water's a lot cleaner here compared to down there. Excellent. All right, ready? That's it. That's what he has to offer. So uh, he said, everybody contact me. If you guys go to Jamaica, I'll meet you down here. I'm not asking no more. And I'll introduce you to him, the owner of this place. And then you guys can have a good time, chit chat, do what you guys want to do. I can I can see a nice little resort right here, man. A big old huge, um, you know, apartment complex or something like that, or even a hotel, huh? Now, now is that out there? There's no coral, huh? It's all all sand out there. Yes, yeah, no rock. No rock out there. No, no rock. Like compared to down there. On the other side, where uh, it, it's a lot of rock over there, a lot of reefs. Till next video, I'll see you later. 
Um, yeah, guys, contact me at um, hemp at hemppublishingcompany.com and email me. If you got some money to throw away and want to open up a seafood, uh, a Caribbean, Jamaican sea fish farm. Yeah, I like that. That's all you have to do. Help people out in this world. Yeah, shut down Fukushima for sure. For good. Talking about the Pacific seafood.